best out there, but uh, we're pretty good. But yeah, we absolutely wipe, and it's um, you know I, I I feel it. I feel the runbacks. I feel yeah. the, the yeah, speeders. Right. I know <laughs> all the I know all the spots. Denova, you know, I feel it. Yep. <laughs> so, so would you consider this the the new end game group play? This is uh, it's one of them. Mm -hmm. um, so this is a this is we're targeting this you know obviously to us to smaller groups, and we think there's a place for that. We think there's a place for some four man content, both um, you know role neutral and role enforced. Um, but it's also worth noting that our our dark versus light kind of uh, world bosses uh, are are targeted to larger groups right now, and um, and that goal is you know. Bring as many people as you want. <laughs> Bring as many people as you can. Just, they're essentially like world bosses, um, but first you have to find them, which is part of the fun, and then uh, you know you need to kill them, which um, which you know they're not they're not soloable. I'll put it that way. Yeah. You're gonna you're gonna need some numbers. Um, but yeah, we, we definitely we're definitely refocused on on group content, and so this is part of that direction. Um, and you know there's definitely. Like I said, there's going to be more uprisings coming out, um, and what we want to do is see how these. See, you know, we we love playing these. We think these are a lot of fun internally, and so we want to see what the players think um, when these come out, and then we'll kind of go from there and see, you know, what kind of mix we put out. We put out, you know, more bosses, more of the, you know. So yeah, we'll definitely revisit. Um, we're, we're eager to see these out and see what people think, you know. And it's going to start with what, like a group of, how many of these are going to be out with the expansion? Um, some. <laughs> we're, I don't think we're talking numbers yet, okay. right. but um, but more, I could say more than one. All right. So. <laughs> Mul multiple. It's not all Hoth all the time. Okay. I promise. <laughs> well, and that's, a, you know, it kind of begs the other question is like, as far as people getting burned out on it or anything like that, I mean, you worry about that. Uh, from that perspective, I mean, you know, because yeah. I think about how many times I've run through the flashpoints and how many ops we've run uh, over the years, you know, it's like, so what? what's going to keep this fresh? Yeah, well, that, that's part of the goal was to try to add a little more, um, a little more variety and unpredictability with the power-ups. Uh, the different modes. Yeah, different modes. Uh, you know, we're, we have um, Master Mode coming out, I think we announced, um, a little later after launch. Um, so, if if people can conquer veteran, uh, master will be waiting for them, which is all the more difficult. Um, we haven't quite uh, talked about like what those will be balanced to, but we're aiming pretty high, um, and that'll really hopefully scratch that itch. But yeah, like I said, um, there's little surprises. I think there's even one in uh, in Hoth here somewhere. I think it's straight ahead of you. Is that it? No. Well, there's there's a room that I don't think that you guys have gone into yet, but <laughs> there's there's some power-ups hidden in there. There's, uh, you know, like I said, there's some story... Don't tell them that stuff. Uh, you well, know. Not, especially not now. I mean, something, on, something somewhere. A hidden room? <laughs> <laughs> like the Where's treasure? We're going to have to find things. <laughs> but yeah, like I said before, like some bonus bosses. So And plus, you know, the shorter play session we think will... Uh, Will, will be a lot of fun. These are these are designed to be, uh, since you're in a group and since you're doing these, pretty good commands. ...and experience income. Uh, so in an yeah, hour... Yeah, a decent amount already. Yeah, yeah you're, you're halfway almost. In, in an hour, we expect you to be able to do, like we said, you know, two to four of these. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I've done flashpoints that have taken an hour, hour and a half sometimes. You know. Rishi, have you done that one lately? Rishi, uh, <laughs> what are you talking you know, about, everybody? Battle, hey, it's battle great of to be Rishi again. Depending on if you're running while running. Or not, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Those, those classics. I like to stroll. I like to just walk. Saunter. Leisurely the view. You know, it's just <laughs> much more fun to take my time with it. Yeah. Yes. All right, I want to see this fight a little bit here. Here's one of my new abilities. Since I don't have death penalty, I've got that little, uh, what's that called? Deadly Onslaught. Deadly Onslaught. Onslaught. <laughs> All right, cool. Good day. Here's my little Firestorm. It looks like a sparkler just went off. Pretty good. Thank you. 
can't wait for these minutes. Hurt these guys. <laughs> so, how, I mean, we're talking about veteran mode. We're obviously, obviously harder. I can already, yep, from yep. watching Brian here. I'm making Keith sweat. Um, that was not a moment. <laughs> I'm not going to sing a song. Right. I promise I'm not going to sing a song right now. But, like, Master, uh, what's the what's the top end mode? Master. Ah, master yeah. mode. Like, how bad is that going to be? Uh, because these guys are in like you know the pretty high end gear right now. Yeah, these guys are are still technically over geared for veteran for our, for our balance targets. Um, Master, we're shooting pretty high. Yeah. Um, you know, it should be like our, impossible high or like I mean. That's our goal is to see if it's possible right. when we're testing. All right. Um, and then you know, maybe we crank it up a little. Well, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> We'll get there. I mean, we're, we're, we are aiming really high, and, and we're trying to we're trying to give for those that really want a, a huge challenge. Um, we're going to reward you with more command experience if you can do it. So yeah, it'll be like max prize kind yeah. of stuff to, to get through that. And the cool thing about the command experience system is it really rewards you for the speed you get through it as well. So the, the more you know master uprisings you can get through, the faster you're going to get that income. And, and get more gear. And oh, okay. I was like, so like the faster you get through the thing, it's going to give you more? Was, uh, oh, no, just the, rate. Like, yeah, it was like, <laughs> like, that's kind of a challenge. All right, I like that. That's kind of cool. No, no, okay, I get what you're saying. Because you can do more in a shorter period of time. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. All right. Yeah. We made it through the, the cave. We killed a robot. Well, <laughs> Die, robot. I think you did better on the veteran mode than you did on the story mode, honestly. Yeah, yeah. Getting a little mm -hmm. too used to it. Mm -hmm. Turn them into scrap. I wasn't standing in falling ice cold. <laughs> <laughs> Don't stand in the stupid. Uh, tell you what. See, so yeah, this one won't have the culto stations um, like the story will. Okay. Okay. So, um, so it makes it a little tougher. Uh, and then, like I said, the when we say we balance with stems and augs, that's about. Roughly 10 to 15 percent more uh, DPS that we have to account for, so it's not trivial. Um, it's a decent amount, and you know that's what we're trying to try to enforce. That we really want you to be to have something to to strive for, basically. And veteran mode would be considered like like mid level, like mid level end game gear as far as like it wouldn't be like the don't need the. Highest of the high. Well, well you should I, need a little bit. I probably set would bonus because probably requires. yeah, set bonus. You're gonna need a mix of um, of mid and end game. Um, yeah, like you, you're definitely. The goal is you should not be able to walk into veteran day one and just succeed. Mm. <laughs> I have a feeling that I'm, I, failing, I'm so. not gonna <laughs> have a problem with failing. So you know, I don't. We joke on, the, on our podcast about me sucking at this game, and it's not uh, that's not false at all. Brian is the actual player, and that's why I do not have a, <laughs> a mouse in my hand right now. I sit in the back and I shoot things from far away. <laughs> what I do for fun. Great bug. <laughs> <Jeez. laughs> oh crap! <laughs> <laughs> you screwed up now. <laughs> 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 never, there are never too many spider droids. That's the. Uh... Oh man. Oh, more dudes. Ah. So I mean, when you, uh, so I'm trying to. I mean, I didn't count the last time like, how many came out. Like, as far as the differences between the modes, are we looking at more? Are we looking at bigger damage? Or looking at um, uh, which is it? Are we different mechanics or? Yeah, it's mostly, uh, for this first batch, we focused on uh, damage going out. Um, if there's a healing mechanic on the boss, more healing to the boss. Um, we didn't focus on extra mechanics, because we really want you to understand all the mechanics in story mode. Uh, you know, to, to be familiar with it when you gear up for veteran. Uh, so it's mostly, it's mostly all in balance and numbers. Um, but that you know that can make a big difference. Maybe something instead of being 
un- something be a- avoidable that doesn't one shot you. Maybe now we can afford to one shot you. you know? And we can definitely focus the damage coming out of the tank a lot because uh, we can assume there is a tank, so that helps quite a bit. Um, and same with healing. If we can assume you have a healer, then we can really like get the balance much tighter. Now, is there going to be like a uh, a way to be able to do this solo? Uh, like a solo plus three companions or anything, or a, a way to do it that way so that if you are a loner yeah. and you can't stand other people, um, <laughs> which there, I know there's nobody that plays this game that's like that. We all have lots of friends and we love <laughs> to play the game together. But just saying, if there was, is there, is there a mode to play this on your own? There, so we, we focused on group, um, so we didn't have a solo mode right now. Uh, we're definitely open to it. But what you can do is you can maybe grab somebody else uh, and you can have two players, two companions, and jump in and see how you do. Oh, so you can do that. Okay. And you can even, I mean, you can go in solo with a companion and, and try it out. And maybe on story mode, <laughs> maybe you're going to have a good time and maybe you're going to have a bad time. I don't know. <laughs> it just depends on, uh, on how well you are, you know, gotcha. riding the line of chaos. They get to stay. It's not fair. fair. It's not well, fair. Yeah, they're wearing their special ice ceiling collapse suits. They <laughs> <laughs> might get smashed by things. <laughs> yeah, I don't know that I'd try it on my own. I think I did that the first time, like the very first time I ever queued a flash. But I was like, I don't know what this is. Let me queue and see what happens. And that did not go well. Yeah, and I think it's worth mentioning, um, you know, especially. You can go through these. I imagine it would take you more time than with a group. But part of what we did with command experience is we put a group modifier on it. So you're actually getting more. There's a there's a multiplier for how many people are in your group. So you, it benefits you more to be in a group of four, eight, or sixteen um, than it does to be solo in in this kind of content. Okay. Um, so you're getting CXP for killing, you know. Uh, NPC, elite NPCs, you're getting it for the quest, and you're getting it just because you're in a group, you're getting a bonus on top of that. Uh, so that's kind of one of the ways that, like, Operations, 8-man, 16-man um, can help you out. Things like that. Okay, alright. So, this should be a little interesting. Let's see. It's all right. it's like, yeah, alright, let's see how this goes. <laughs> Just rolling all over the map. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> Dropping threat, I tell you. Operatives don't have a threat, though. <laughs> oh, wait, they never use it. <laughs> I can I can verify that. Trouble. I'm an operative. <laughs> <laughs> I heal on my operative as my main, and I definitely do not threat dump as much as I should. All right, robot. That's right. Brian started making me play operations, and I had no idea what countermeasures were. I'm like, oh, this is really cool. Oh, now I see what this is <laughs> What's for. this for? Oh, oh, now I understand. Oh, Moscow's dead. Why am I losing? Uh oh. Uh-oh. That was quick. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Well, oops, he's up. He's down. <laughs> So you can see Mr. Drob running around in those turrets we just killed. Like a jerk. Yeah, he's running around and healing. Don't run into the beam! (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I kind of want anybody else to hear. I can just imagine Tate screaming in the other room. Let's have the fun. Like, when we do this, we have to, like, add a <laughs> chat into it. Yeah. Because you know, it's too much fun. Listen to each other yell at each other. What are you doing? This is a neat mechanic. There's red crap on the ground. And there's a beam that follows it. So everybody's got to be kind of spread out. Yeah, and I should say, that's another goal that we, always, that we try for in these, is we want to keep you moving. We want to keep you, you know, not, not stand and kill but moving around, so we're always we're trying to drop AOEs on you. We're trying to, you know, put void zones, all kinds of things like that. Says the opposite. Says the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Me and my ballistic shield do not like that. 
to be like this game still. <laughs> All I see are big feet. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, yeah, you gotta look up every once in a while, Brian. Ah, not important. Look at the artwork, bro. Come on. Hey, I'm worried about the dude running around fixing these turrets that I've never been killed. There he is. Yeah, Drob has a passion for non broken turrets. That's, that's the theme of this fight. He's just doing his job. He just he, he fixes things. You, you know, know he's, he's just doing his job. Did we knock it off the end yet? Oh, oh there's the last one. Said no combat res yet. I should point out, Musco was combat res and immediately yeah, that's died. That's already happened. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I, I feel the pain of Double being thrown, thrown into combat attempting to stealth res. That is my life. <laughs> We tried to pick some over the top ones. This one is combat clarity. Um, you click that, and each class gets essentially something that'll flash on their on their bar, and it's basically just we you know we call it clear cast. You can just cast that thing, just keep spamming. Oh, so you got okay, cool. yes, yeah, so you've got flame sweep, yeah. Turrets are back up. He's been a busy guy. And I would tell you what they are for all the classes, but I don't remember. But I can tell you on my Sork, it's my three button. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, Heat Seeker Missile on Mert. Yeah. So you just sit there and have a good time. Oh, I think it's Force Leech. Is that a thing? I think that's right. I don't know names of abilities. I know buttons and colors. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh, you a clicker. Uh, it's like, yep, hey. That's another reason why I'm not playing right now. Uh, Musco's <laughs> eagerly anticipating a res. <laughs> a second, a third, second res, I should add. Uh, a third. Musco is now, has now become just a watcher. I'm just I'm noticing <laughs> how slow the boss's hit points are going down now that I'm dead. I'm just saying. <laughs> Can't blame that on me. To yes. be fair, I did die twice, so it's my own fault. <laughs> and you'll notice, even if there's not a new mechanic, because you can kind of chew through the boss on story, you don't really have to deal with this mechanic very much. But on veteran, you're definitely toggling between turrets and so you're going, yeah, walker, 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 turrets after walker. another after another. Yeah, yeah so we call it we, we kind of call that enforcing the mechanic. Um, in story mode, we don't care if you can out DPS the mechanic. That's totally fine. That's what it's for. But in veteran, you know, we're going to enforce it. In the oh, there's a lot of red. <laughs> red bad. <laughs> He'd seem like a champ, though. Yeah, <laughs> oh, what's he in rage yeah. of this thing? Man. Fire! Well, that enrage is coming. I was going to say it's got it's <laughs> got to be soon, man, because they've been going a long time on this it's boss. Coming. See, if I don't look at the ground, I don't know what I'm standing at. <laughs> <laughs> Just wait. So in Rage, which is going to kill him? The, uh, the, the walker or the turrets? <laughs> <laughs> don't know. You're on your own. <laughs> <laughs> Oh! Oh! Womp womp. Another death. <laughs> uh, oh. And the turrets are back. Damn, the turrets are back. This is a tough fight. Yeah, there's a lot going on. So, 
there's a mode harder than this, you <laughs> say. Yeah. Okay, all right. That's yeah. going to be... Huh. <laughs> so much for the 15-minute mark. Right, that's going to be... Uh, yeah, I'm going to add this up. This should be interesting. Let's see how these go. Y'all got to kill that first turn. Come on, team. We can do this. <laughs> I believe in you. See, see, if you say it out loud, it doesn't make it any more true. It says the tank so, that needs to be healed. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep healing me. Don't worry, I won't die. All right. Whoa. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> if if not, this, this is gonna this fight's gonna take forever. Yeah. <laughs> yes, he drifted into that point in the, in the stream or like, oh, yeah. okay. I'm I'm looking forward to spider time. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot about that part, part. Yeah, the joy of the final phase. Yeah. I feel like uh -oh. yeah, I... Tate's dead. Uh, <laughs> I do like the idea of enforcing the mechanic though, as far as like that's that lives there. It's just a matter of the timing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we try to put a, a you know when we're balancing bosses and encounters and the whole nine yards, there's a certain amount of avoidable damage you want to put out, a certain amount of unavoidable damage, a certain amount of tank damage, a certain amount of healing required. So it's it's definitely a, a, a delicate balance of all those things, but um, that's where math and spreadsheets come <laughs> in. All right, man. Oh, oh, man. So should we stuck this? Will do, will do one more I will not die this time. <laughs> so less than three times. This is a great example of what we are talking about, where you can the the, the wipe and run back. Yeah. So. Right. <laughs> we just wanted to show the example of what it would look like when you wipe on a, a on a <laughs> uprising, so that we can see. Yeah, it's not that Brian right. sucks. No, <laughs> clearly it's not that. <laughs> it's got nothing to do with the. Well, that's a t I mean, that's a tough fight. I mean, that's that was he was not taking a ton of damage, and, and Musco dies. Yeah, there's. <laughs> yeah, we didn't even get to the final phase, so we'll that'll be interesting. And everybody's spread out, so it's like. Yeah. And all of a sudden, circling out. Who do I do? Me. <laughs> <laughs> so should we uh, <laughs> strategize? We'll hit this turret first, and then. I'm just gonna follow you, Brian. Cool. Like you said last time, you did. I'm yours, Brian. <laughs> yeah, don't stand behind me when the laser's out. It's safe. Okay. Bang. Oh, it's nice having two DPS. <laughs> that makes a little difference. <laughs> That's it? how this is supposed to work. Oh. <laughs> a little bit different feel to it. That two operative raid comp or group comp. <laughs> OP. <laughs> I should say too, this is um, in Galactic Command, which we've talked about, there's like a highlighted activity of the day. So if Uprisings is the highlighted activity that day, you're going to even more command experience just for doing Essentially. Does that include the things that we kill, or is it just for the mission? Or how's that it's work? it's the mission. Cool. Um, and in uh, in operations, since operations don't really have a, a mission a attached to them, uh, that'll be tied to like the boss, for example. So if the boss would drop, making up a number, 100 CXP, uh, now they would drop, you know, 100 plus whatever the bonus is, so 150 or 200. Um, so yeah, that's a way to really. You can go in and, and it'll be something different each day and you can kind of play what you want to play. Um, but you really, you can start stacking all your bonuses, right? So, okay, I have a group and I'm going to go into Uprisings and it's the activity of the day. And so you can really start earning some, uh, some, some crates pretty quickly. 
upgrade the tilt in the bright spreadsheet. Yes, yeah, soon enough. Maximize. All right, so with this day, today is this day. We're going to do this. We're going to get this much done. <laughs> Here we go. Maximize your attack. Oh, you know, spreadsheets are good. We only have so much time in the game. We've got to maximize it in every minute that you're there. Let me stun them. Why don't you take that away from me? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dang it, turrets are back. Yeah. That's what I think I was. And the dude's on the stone with the thing with the heel. Oh. The king, you gotta go get the turret, man. That's a... Oh. All right. I mean, I Good know I'm watching this like in spectator mode and stuff, but, you know. That makes sense. That's not the Now, is that beam actually doing damage? Or is that... <laughs> <laughs> Seems you're to be good. okay. You're good. Just a preview of things to come. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, the shield is back down. Ah. I don't think if no. you ask if you ask, it's not gonna. No, that's not how the mechanic yeah, works. Yeah, that's not how we do it. <laughs> if you beg for forgiveness, it's not going to help you. Come on, what if I do a no bones dance? Maybe. <laughs> Come on, buddy. That's the instant kill. There's no bones in the deck. Let's do it. There's it only all, makes sense. There's always one secret. <laughs> That's the one. Guess you're doing better, though. Yeah, yeah. Not terrible. Nobody's died yet. Oh. Yeah. Uh, why did I say that? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's where that's where I was going with that. Is more damage is done. So. Oh yeah, he's getting down. He got like thirty percent. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we can do this. Well, your interface sucks, dude. Look how small it is. Mm. Barely see anything. All those tiny little bars. Brian, <laughs> your tank, dude. Come on. <laughs> they all love the beam. <laughs> Yo, stop, stop the beam. You love the beam too. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh darn uh, moth to a flame. Uh, we're up to what, five now? Okay, yeah, right, something cool. like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we're on a. Well, we're on our chat during our third operations. It's uh, Yeah, definitely not safe for work. Not safe for work. This is a little harder than I thought it was going to be. We can do it. Fight his bug. Shouldn't Musco be dead by now? <laughs> uh, all right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe on to something. All right, robot. This is what you get. Punishment. You get to kick this in the face. I was going to say, you just like top three. <laughs> Six. <laughs> all right, so we can obviously... Okay. Much more difficult than the first one. Yep. It's going to take a little more uh, skill. Well, that beam is a lot more punishing than it was yeah. before. Along with the bottom turrets. So there's a little bit of a DPS race here. Ah. I need to just set that in range timer to like three minutes. Quiet. Yeah. So, <laughs> so that like. Uh, okay, so now we've <laughs> oh. got the robot. Where's uh -oh. the dude? Uh -oh, uh -oh. <laughs> Gonna pull the plug. You're halfway yeah, there. Stack up, stack up. <laughs> no, I'm, you just didn't pull? You should have just pulled. Keith is my spirit animal <laughs> telling everyone to gather for Culto Waves. Let me tell you. A deadly onslaught. Take that. Oh, that can't be good. <laughs> <laughs> Spider droid time. Oh, man. <laughs> there is no floor. Mm. 
Jeez, this is coming from <laughs> everywhere, dude. Ah! <laughs> Look at that. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Keith MVP, 2016. <laughs> Get your loot, bro. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, let's see what's in here. I want to see what's in here, man. Come on. Here it is. A large CXP and the Covert Frost. Cool. So how much CXP does the large give me? I'm right now at... Uh, that's my legacy. I'm at 982. So give me that guy. I get 184 command points. Okay, that's right. for the. Is that like a set level at this point for, for that, or is that still just like that item? Yeah, that item. Uh, actually, I don't think the PTS has the latest uh, balance on on the CXP. Um, but yeah, it's it's in the ballpark, I should say. Gotcha. <laughs> and then yeah, I think you have a request pending too. Oh, that's right. Dink. That's your 230. Oh yeah, so there, 230. There's a chunk. All right. Cool. So more for completing the quest than what drops off the yeah. off of that boss. But yeah. All right. All right, making progress. So I'm at command level eight. So we got what, about a third of a bar, just for doing this. Uh, just well, for doing the one up right. Well, and doing yeah. those two in a row, you get about two thirds. So. What? You got four ranks. Nicely done. <laughs> That's because he's awesome. I know. Dude. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, clearly terrible tank. He, 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 he did a lot more work on. Yeah. He's healing That's everybody. It is. <laughs> like the amount of work that you do actually. So, so does that count too? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, should, I should mention that's part of the strategy too. Is we wanted we didn't want, just want to put all the command XP in the quest. So if you're trying to progress and you know you can only get past the first boss, we still want you to get you know something. get something for that. Yeah. And then, but but you know you should get more for completing the quest. So. It's definitely all intentional. Like, there's a lot of spreadsheets involved and a lot of balance that going on there. But, yeah. but yeah, we um, these should be uprising should be one of the most efficient ways for your min maxers to get your uh, your command experience. This and and group activities and things like ranked PVP. Those are going to be your best um, your best time investment, I guess, mm -hmm. to to level up quickest. Gotcha. Um, but yeah, but you'll get credit for almost anything you do. So that was kind of the idea. Ooh, excellent. So, yeah. yeah, you guys did well. So. <laughs>